Hi, it's Terry D Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy method to convert a Fender Princeton Reverb model AA1164 from a fixed negative bias system to variable. Here we go. Alright, well, what I noticed in the bias section is somebody has strapped another resistor across the step down resistor for the negative bias circuit, and of course, the cap has been replaced. But seeing this, indicates that they are having an issue setting bias in this amplifier. The Princeton's did not have a pot on the chassis like you'd see in a deluxe. We're going to add that with some current sensing resistors on the output tubes so we can dial the bias right in. So I'm simply going to epoxy a potentiometer here on the chassis. It'll be wired into the negative bias board and of course feed the grids of the output tubes through these two 220K resistors. So at this point I'm going to epoxy the negative bias potentiometer to the chassis. You see I roughed up the metal a little bit there and I do the same on the back of the pot. This is a 10K CTS pot. Just take a little drop of epoxy, put it on the back, set them in place, with his terminals facing towards the intensity pot of the tremolo circuit because we're going to swing the wiring up into that and that feeds those 220k resistors. All right, here is the new variable bias system fully installed in the Princeton amplifier. I'm going to go through a five step quick procedure here for you guys and there will be a diagram at the end of this video that you can print off and use it for reference. So step one, you're going to remove the 27K resistor that was straddled across the 25 microfarad bias cap. You're going to install the 10K bias pod on the chassis and wire as shown per the diagram. Then you're going to install the 27K resistor that you removed from the bias board from the pot low side here to chassis ground. Then you're going to install a pair of 1 ohm current sensing resistors on each 6V6 pin 8 to chassis. I'll show you that installation and then we'll adjust the bias. Alright, here is the pair of the 1 ohm current sensing resistors that are installed from pin 8 of each 6V6 to ground. These are Dale resistors. They're 1 ohm, 1%, non-inductive at 2.5 watts. Alright, now we're going to adjust the bias on the 6V6 tubes. Remember, there's hazardous voltages that are going to be present, and you're going to be right in there with it. So be very careful when you're probing around. All right, I have the amp on. We're going to adjust this output to for 20 millivolts. That is going to equal 20 milliamps through the 6V6 tube. So as soon as it warms up, and here she comes. So you see we're going over, so I'm going to take my bias pot and I can adjust that to our 20 milliamps. Okay. Now if you're wondering if the other tube is balanced, you can check that at this point. You can see they're about 2 milliamps apart from each other. Remember you have one bias adjustment, so you can only set that bias on one tube and then go across the two until you reach that happy millivolt level. Well, so there you have it. Modification of a Fender Princeton fixed negative bias to variable bias in five easy steps. If you guys want a copy of that hookup diagram, shoot me an email and I'll get it right out to you. Hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to come from D-Live Electronics.